Right now, Democratic Vice Presidential nominee Governor Tim Walz visits Milwaukee in support of unions. His message to voters at Labor Fest today. Plus, funeral services are held for an Israeli-American hostage killed in Gaza. This as ceasefire negotiations continue. And nationwide, a hotel strike continues to grow as thousands of hotel workers take to the picket lines what they want to see improved. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us. Eric should be back after the holiday tomorrow. And it may be a holiday, but candidates in the race to the White House aren't taking the day off. Minnesota Governor and Democratic Vice Presidential pick Tim Walz spoke in Milwaukee today at Labor Fest. We spoke with union workers about their votes, but first, our Maddie Heimsch has more on Walz's speech. Crews behind me are tearing down the stage that Governor Walls spoke on around three today. He took the opportunity to speak to unions about he and Vice President Kamala Harris's dedication to protecting and strengthening workers' rights. Their values, he said, are in stark contrast to the other side of the ticket. Right to work laws backed by Republicans. Everybody here today knows what right to work really means. It means the right to work for less money. It means the right to work in dangerous situations. It means the right to work with no pensions. And Trump tax cuts. You tell me who in Wisconsin is sitting around saying, damn, I wish they'd give billionaires tax cuts and screw me over. No Walls attempted to that. relate to no the Milwaukee crowd, drawing on his experience as a teacher, coach, and union worker himself. And drew a comparison between unions and the very principle of democracy. The opportunity to speak your mind about your job. The opportunity to elect your leadership, the opportunity to talk about the things that impact your life and then go advocate for it. That's how democracy is supposed to work. The Minnesota governor finished by touting the accomplishments of his home state, claiming that while Minnesota is a top state for unions, it's also a top state for business. You don't have to choose between workers and business. You can do both. You can do both. He also referenced his personal history of passing pro-worker legislation at the state level touching on family leave, teachers' unions, and barring anti-union meetings. Each of the speakers echoed that same message we've heard from Harris at each campaign stop. They say that the union builds the middle class, and the middle class builds America. Reporting in Milwaukee, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Maddie, thank you. And Walls' message fighting for laborers' rights seemed to hit right with the crowd. Hundreds of steelworkers, machinists, teachers, and more showed up their support with union attire and signs. It wasn't just Milwaukee workers in the crowd. Kathleen and Mary made the trek all the way from Madison to see Walls. I haven't been to a labor fest since I went with my dad probably 30 or 40 years ago. So just wanted to see what it was like. I think he's perfect to talk to labor. He's of he's of labor. He you know, a teacher. He's a worker. So he's a worker. And he understands what it means to be a worker. So I think that's really important. There was a slight hiccup in the crowd as soon as Walls took the stage. A pro-Palestine group calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war stood up and unfurled banners. They were quickly escorted out by police. Meanwhile, the motorcade escorting Governor Walls was involved in a car accident today. Walls' vehicle was not involved. Several press vans, however, got into an accident on Interstate 794 on their way to his appearance at the Labor Group event. A pool report detailed staff in the vans were, quote, violently thrown forward as one van slammed into another and then was hit from behind. Some staffers were treated by medical personnel. One staffer appeared to have been injured on their arm. Meanwhile, President Biden is traveling to southwest Wisconsin this Thursday. It'll be his first visit to the state since dropping out of the presidential race. The visit will focus on small towns and rural areas, highlighting the president's policies to lower costs and encourage renewable energy and advanced manufacturing. The White House still has not said where in southwestern Wisconsin he plans to be. And also returning to Wisconsin this week is former President Donald Trump. He's set to attend a rally in Mosinee on Saturday. This is after he held a town hall in La Crosse last week. Meanwhile, a number of top Republican surrogates will visit Milwaukee on Thursday. They'll attend a town hall organized by the Trump Vance campaign. The list includes former Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson, U.S. Representative Brian Stile, and Monica Crowley. Pleasant conditions through Labor Day continue. Let's check the first one forecast with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington out on the patio. Hi, Alex. Hey, Armand. Pleasant indeed. This is about as good as late summer weather gets. It's comfortably cool, low humidity, calm winds. Probably have the windows open tonight and giving the AC a break. 
But you might want to consider closing those windows later tonight. It's going to get a bit on the chilly side, especially in some of those low-lying areas where the temperatures have a tendency to get the coolest. We've got a 51 in Toma as part of our weather bunch squares here. 62 still in Viroqua, 57 in Jefferson. Madison here, we're sitting at 57 as well, and 61 to the southwest in Platteville. Very pleasant evening, as you just said, Armand, across southern Wisconsin. That's the right way to describe our weather. Pleasant weather is going to be sticking around and slowly warming up as we move through the next couple of days. Let's plan the rest of the night tonight. If you have to do a quick late walk or take the dog out yet, temperatures continuing to fall through the 50s as you wake up tomorrow morning. 52, a little patchy fog, not out of the question, especially in those low-lying areas. And those temperatures will rebound very quickly by the time we get late morning. Sunny skies in the upper 60s and will make for a warmer day, a warm-up day is on the way for a little bit later on Tuesday. Our temperature trend here is all about our weather story right now. Wednesday, Thursday got 80 degrees and then the temperatures take a big tumble by the time we get to the weekend. Coming up in Maine weather, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about this cold front that's gonna be coming Thursday night. And I'll give you a glimpse of the shower and thunderstorm chances that it brings and what time. Alex, thank you. A man is missing after being swept away by the current of the Wisconsin River. This incident happening yesterday afternoon. It happened when three men were entering the river from a sandbar near Peck's Landing. All three were swept up in the river's current. One man was able to swim back to shore while another man was rescued by a passing boat. The third, a 24-year-old from Richland Center, is unaccounted for. A man is in custody in Beloit after a domestic incident this morning. Rock County Sheriff's deputies were called to a home on South Riverside Drive just after 2 this morning for a report of a 35-year-old man threatening someone with a gun. A woman was able to escape the home, but deputies learned that a young girl was being held inside. The SWAT team was called in and the man left the home without incident and was arrested. The girl was not hurt. An investigation continues following a fire that left one dead Saturday night. The fire happened in the town of Harris in Marquette County. It started in the garage and traveled to the house. One person was found dead. She was identified as Rebecca Louise Otto, 75 years old, of Montello. The fire is under investigation by the State of Wisconsin Fire Marshal's Office, Marquette County Sheriff's Office, Harris Fire Department, and the Marquette County Medical Examiner. Protests around the world are escalating amid calls for a ceasefire deal, and those calls grow louder over the Israel-Hamas war. The current unrest prompted by the discovery of the bodies of six Israeli hostages who had been held captive by Hamas found over the weekend by the Israeli military. Sherelle Hubbard has the story. Protesters have taken to the streets, their anger pouring out and their patience thinning. The protests are in response to the Israel Defense Forces discovery Saturday of the bodies of six hostages in a tunnel in Gaza. We found that they were uh, murdered by Hamas recently. Among the six hostages, one American Israeli who'd been taken hostage at a music festival that Hamas attacked on October 7th. Just last month at the Democratic National Convention, his parents pleaded for his safe return. His name is Hirsch. He's 23 years old. That glimmer of hope now extinguished. Now my Hirsch, I ask for your help as we transform our hope into grief. In California, Hirsch Goldberg Poland remembered at his former synagogue where worshipers say they are devastated. Completely heartbreaking and crushing. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu promising revenge for the deaths it's Monday. To, it's going to take time, but even before that, we're going to exact a heavy price from Hamas. One of the victim's family members says he fears that the deaths will be used by the Prime Minister to fuel more violence. This is exactly the opposite of what we want, the, exactly the opposite of what Carmel would have wished for and exactly the opposite of what the hostages that are still held in captivity deserve. Sherelle Hubbard, News 3 Now. U.S. officials say despite the hostage deaths, ceasefire talks continue and the White House is hoping to see results soon. Well, this Labor Day marked the second day of a labor strike here in the U.S. and today it got even bigger. More than 10,000 hotel workers were on the picket line demanding higher wages and the return of jobs cut during the pandemic. The strike that began Sunday now impacts more than two dozen hotels in nine major U.S. cities from Honolulu to Boston. 
It follows months of failed talks between the Unite Here Union and major chains like Marriott, Hilton and Hyatt. More than 10,000 hotel workers are demanding higher wages and the return again of those jobs. More people are trying to do the same work that more people used to do before the pandemic. And so that makes work harder on everyone. 5,000 more union workers are already authorized to strike and contracts for more than 40,000 hospitality workers could expire in more than 20 cities this year, meaning if a deal is not reached, more walkouts could be coming. The League of Women Voters of Dane County is inviting the public to a forum tomorrow to learn about two tax referendums for the Madison Metropolitan School District. Voters will be asked to approve two separate tax increases, the first totaling $100 million for staffing and programming, and the second just over half a billion dollars for building facilities, infrastructure, and maintenance. Program Director Martha Stamper says this referendum is not a simple question. This is a question that there's more to the story than what's coming out of people's wallets. Um, you have to be careful about how much your property taxes go up. So this is a forum we've gathered, gathered experts um, on the topic to take a look at whether or um, whether this investment is worth the cost. This forum will again be tomorrow starting at 630 at the UW South Madison Partner Built Ship Building on Park Street. There will be three speakers there to discuss the ins and outs of the referenda. There's still more ahead on News 3 Now at 10, including Alex's complete forecast. Plus, with the UN official end of, sorry, with the unofficial end of summer here, why experts say now is the time to start booking your next trip. I'm a two-time Trump voter. In 2024, I cannot support Donald Trump. Trump is 100% responsible for January 6th. His treatment of women is just disgusting. Trump calls servicemen suckers and losers. If Trump has a second term, it will be much worse than the first. Kamala Harris is a prosecutor. He's a convicted felon. In 2024, I will be I will be I will be proudly voting for Kamala Harris. Republican Accountability Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. It's a great time to have RG Heating and Air Conditioning check your home's furnace system for safety and efficiency. RG services all brands and installs quality train equipment to keep your home running smooth year-round. Call RG Heating and AC today. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. I want that. Amazing offers and a great selection of Ford vehicles like the Built Wild Bronco family with a deal you just can't miss. Your biggest adventures are waiting. So make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. I want that. Make it a lease on a new Ford Bronco Sport for $299 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Wisconsin Ford dealer. We're cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. It's Badger 5. 5 will get you 6. During the month of September, Players who buy a $5 or greater Badger 5 ticket will receive a bonus ticket for the next drawing of Badger 5. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. It's no secret, Robertson is Wisconsin's aesthetic leader, but with results this natural, patients can keep it a secret if they want. Our secret to reducing stubborn body fat, Cool Sculpting Elite, the newest technology available. Book a free consultation to learn how Cool Sculpting is different at Robertson. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. What would you think of a man who builds homes to rescue children from abandonment, sex trafficking, and slavery? An employer who does charitable work alongside us and pays for us to go around the world helping kids in need. He helps single moms in Wisconsin. Funds food banks here. And fights sex trafficking across America. That man is my husband, Eric. And he'll fight for you, just like he fights for them. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message.
Three for the people. We should all be able to control our own reproductive lives. I'm tackling the topic of women's reproductive rights and letting you know exactly where the candidates stand on this pivotal issue to help you cast an informed vote on Election Day, Tuesday at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. The South Central Federation of Labor celebrated unions this Labor Day with Labor Fest. The annual party was held at the Madison Labor Temple grounds on South Park Street. There was feud, music, and activities for kids that free event hosted by the South Central Federation of Labor. All workers should be treated with respect and dignity. So, you know, if folks really are, you know, envious of what unions are doing, I really would encourage them to create their own union because all workers should be treated with that kind of respect. The South Central Federation of Labor also collected gift cards and personal care items for students whose families are facing housing instability. And this Labor Day weekend marks a close to record-breaking summer travel season. TSA predicted 17 million passengers would pass through airports between last Thursday and Wednesday, capping off a blockbuster summer of air travel, which saw some of the busiest days since before the COVID-19 pandemic. Michael Yoshida has more. A summer surge of flights could lead to a fun fall for air travelers looking to score a good deal on their next trip. Experts say airlines have added more flights, leading to price drops, which means there are lots of potential deals out there. So whether you want to do Christmas holiday markets, ski, you know, skiing this winter in Europe, use those points and transfer to foreign frequent flyer programs. That's where the most value is these days. Brian Kelly, founder of ThePointsGuy.com, says that's because over the last few years, most U.S. Airlines programs have been increasing the miles needed for flights. Four years ago, you could get 100,000 miles round trip to Europe. Now it's like 500,000. So my tip is use foreign frequent flyer programs because they have not devalued their programs as much. So what if you don't have a program with a foreign airline? No problem, according to the Points Guy. Because most major U.S. credit card programs allow you to transfer your points to foreign partners. Not sure which foreign airline to transfer to? The Points Guy offers this tip. The website, point.me. You can put in what points you have. Amex, Chase, American, and it'll tell you, transfer to Air Canada, where it's only 60,000 points to book that Swiss flight I was talking Dude. about. So booking through United would be 88,000, only 60,000 if you leverage foreign frequent flyer programs. So that's the trick. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. Kelly says transferring points to a foreign frequent flyer program takes a little getting used to, but that's where you'll get the most value for your points. And right now, it's where all the real points or miles experts are transferring their miles at these days. Comfortable conditions will continue for the next few days. Let's check back with Alex. Alex, where would you go for a Labor Day or a trip in general? That's the easiest question. Just to Arena, Wisconsin on Saul Road. Go see Grandma Harrington, who's 101. We're talking about her during yep. the break. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful trip would uh, to southwest Wisconsin. Indeed, it would be sunny conditions across all of southern Wisconsin carrying on into Tuesday and Wednesday. The rain chance comes in Thursday night, and that is that cold front that I want to give you a sneak peek, a first glimpse of that chilly weekend ahead. That cold front is really going to be that transition point to some much cooler temperatures. Lows tonight, 52 in Madison, 51 in Janesville, 50 with some patchy fog in Lone Rock, 52 in Baraboo with some patchy fog and also some patchy fog a little bit to the north up in Camp, Camp Douglas and up towards Watoma, where temperatures could get into the upper 40s. You might want to consider shutting the window. Future track temperatures take us from those lower 50s all the way up into the middle to upper 70s. A lot of 77s out there, a couple 76s, 74s, and 75s. So mid to upper 70s, sunny skies, a beautiful Tuesday in store. Just a little bit warmer on Tuesday than what we experienced today. Carbon copy once again as we go into Tuesday night, upper 40s to the lower 50s. We're going to warm up a little bit more by the time we get to Wednesday. High temperatures up near 80 degrees. We got an 80 on Thursday and then a big change as we go Thursday night into Friday. Saturday, high temperatures struggling in the lower 60s. This is going to be one of the colder stretches we have seen for many months in southern Wisconsin. And with us reflecting from upper 90 or mid 90s with heat index values well into the 100s just a week ago to these really relatively chilly temperatures for this time of year. You're really going to feel those cool temperatures by the time we get into Thursday or excuse me, Friday, Saturday and Sunday Then a slow climb out of that fall like chill. 
that cold front. What is this going to look like right at about 10 o'clock during the 10 o'clock newscast Thursday night right now? Future track is showing that cold front moving in from the northwest behind that cold front. Strong northwest breezes right along the cold front stretching from Platteville to Mineral Point to Madison. Watertown over towards Juneau. We could be looking at a line of showers and some thunderstorms. Frequent lightning, gusty winds, and a brief period of heavy rain right now looks like would be the main threats from this line of thunderstorms. Not expecting widespread severe weather at this time with that cold front. And there's the transition, a 10 degree swing just over the course of 24 hours. And then cool temperatures Saturday going on into Sunday. Look at Saturday night too, right in the middle of the screen there in the bottom, bottom center, 43. That's all we're going to do for a low temperature Saturday night going on into Sunday. That's going to be a chilly start for the end of the upcoming work for the upcoming weekend. And then that slow climb out of those temperatures. If you have your phone with you this late at night here, probably some of you probably do get that phone out, scan that QR code in the upper left. You can take a beautiful picture like Connie did, or maybe you have some photos already in your gal gallery on your phone of weather across southern Wisconsin. Thanks, Connie, from Broadhead, showing us this beautiful rays of sunshine behind some cumulus clouds that look like in the background. We always like to see those viewer photos to show the weather across southern Wisconsin. Coming up, can the Badger volleyball team get their first win of the season against Stanford? We have the highlights from Pfizer Forum next in sports. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. You work hard enough. Take a load off this Labor Day with new appliances from Brothers Main. Celebrate the holiday with unbeatable deals on top brands like GE Appliances, Cafe, Hotpoint, and higher. Don't miss out. Shop the Labor Day sale at Brothers Main today. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Okay, 500 deluxe garden gnomes. Wow. I only meant to order five. There's not enough money in my account for these. I'm going to get charged. Two things I just can't deal with, overdraft charges and garden gnomes. Mm. But your BMO Smart Advantage checking account gives you an extra day to avoid an overdraft fee. Nice to see a bank cutting people some slack. Well, mistakes happen, and we give you time to correct them. So you don't like gnomes, huh? What about that one? <laughs> that one I like a lot. BMO. I did know that back pain, foot pain come along with the job of waiting tables. This is Tony. Things that I've tried have failed. And this is Tony's good feet story. Before my arch supports, I felt defeated. But since getting the arch supports from the good feet store, I have had no pain, which still is kind of crazy to me. I'm more positive. It's like opening up a whole new life, like sunshine coming up. I would recommend it to anyone. You've tried everything that's not working. Give it a try. See how we can help you too at the good feet store. This is a hallway. Doesn't evoke much feeling, but to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health, remarkable. I'm Vice President of the National Border Patrol Council. America needs a Commander-in-Chief who's tough on illegal immigration. Kamala Harris fails that test. We're not gonna treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct, that is correct. Kamala was Biden's border czar. She supported sanctuary cities and taxpayer benefits for illegal immigrants. And she created the worst border crisis in American history. Kamala Harris is dangerous. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising.
Welcome back. Wisconsin Volleyball was back in action today, wrapping up day two of the Women's College Volleyball Showcase in Milwaukee. Andrew Banstra was at Pfizer Forum and has more on the Badgers. Last year, Wisconsin Volleyball started the season 18-0. This year, they started the season 0-2. But don't get it twisted. Kelly Sheffield scheduled a slew of top five opponents for Wisconsin to play in their first week. <laughs> Capped off by a date with number five Stanford today in the State Farm Volleyball Showcase down in Milwaukee. Stanford took set one. Sarah Franklin took over set two. With some help from Charlie Furbringer, the rookie and the senior are absolutely on the same page. And why not once more? Charlie to Sarah for the slam. You'll be hearing that a lot this year. The Badgers take set two. But after that, the Cardinals stood tall, meeting the Badgers at every single turn, winning the blockbuster in four sets. The Badgers finished their first week of the season winless, but knowing they just went through a heavyweight fight and will be better off for it. Nobody in our locker room is real happy that we're 0-3 to start the season. Um, uh, but uh, would you rather play the competition we have and go 0-3 or play in three people that just aren't very good and get 3-0? and I think everybody in our program would take the competition that we've had right now. It's not something that we are on the verge of cracking from. You know, it's not... This is, it's not, the sky is not falling, like, and we know that. We are all competitors, and we know that it takes time. It's safe to say that despite going winless here in Milwaukee, the Badgers aren't worried. They're hungry, and as Kelly Sheffield said, excited to get back in the gym this week. In Milwaukee, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. And just a reminder to check out this week's Wisconsin Huddle. Bryson Green stops by to talk all things Badger football with sports director Zach Canley. Show airs at 6.30 on Friday right here on News 3 Now. Willie Adamas and the Brewers hosting the Cardinals earlier on this Labor Day. It was also Adamas' 29th birthday. What better way to celebrate than hitting your 29th home run of the season? He puts the crew up to 3 to nothing. Then in the bottom of the sixth with bases loaded, Jackson Turrio blasts one way out there for the Grand Slam. That puts the crew up 9-3, to three, which would end up being the final score. They're back in action tomorrow night at 6.40. We'll be right back. The Labor Day Doorbuster deals Friday through Monday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get this comfy new sectional for just $9.97 and get the ottoman free. A free recliner with the reclining sofa, only at Slumberland Furniture. The burn pit at our base in Iraq had just shut down, but the poisons were around us everywhere. Back home, I got diagnosed with cancer, but the VA denied coverage to a lot of us who got sick. Tammy Baldwin knew that was wrong, and she wasn't gonna let that stand. She worked with both parties to pass a law. So now, thousands of us exposed to toxic chemicals are getting the care that we deserve. It took a fight. But Tammy Baldwin, she's a hell of a fighter. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Arby's is full of choices. Quick, you can get your favorite stuff. stuff, stuff. Three for five dollars. Incredible value. value for a limited time. Reach in and eat whatever you grab. Arby's, we have the meat. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. So switch to Spectrum and get a powerful network that connects nearly 500 million devices. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with free modem, no data caps, and no contracts. Plus save with our two-year price guarantee when you level up to a gig. Call 1-855-735-1336 or scan to call. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming with the most reliable internet speeds. Get a powerful network that millions of customers rely on. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should too. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with 99.9% .9 network reliability, no added taxes or hidden fees, and no contracts. Plus, save with our two-year price guarantee. Call 1-855-735-1336. 
Call now. I will make it a top priority to bring down costs for all Americans. Her plan? She'll take on big oil and drug companies who rip us off, penalize big corporations who price gouge us on food and gas, and make billionaires pay their fair share. Donald Trump fights for billionaires and large corporations. I will fight to give money back to working and middle class Americans. LCB Victory Fund and FF Pack are responsible for the content of this ad. I'm exhausted. Shopping for a mattress is just so confusing. Sounds like mattress shopophobia. At Slumberland, our sleep counselors are here to help you find the best mattress without any pressure. But awesome pressure relief. Slumberland. Stop stressing. Start sleeping. Chris Stanford. News 3 Now This Morning. Moving forward. This week, Cool Bears back with Supreme Court Justice Katanji Brown Jackson, Steph Curry, Senator Mark Kelly, and Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. New this week on CBS. And finally tonight, the Mega Millions lottery jackpot has climbed to an estimated $681 million. The cash option is $336.1 million. The jackpot swelled after no ticket matched all six numbers in Friday night's drawing. Next drawing is tomorrow, and if there is a big winner, it would be the seventh largest jackpot in the game's history. What would you do with that money there, Alex? Well, consult, pay off some debt first. Yeah. Got to be a realist, and then share it. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of and money. And you? I don't know. I'd do some experiences. Go on some trips. Do some, I don't know, skydiving or something adventurous. You said you wanted to go to, like, a, a Greek paradise. Greek right? islands, yeah. Mykonos or something. It's always very pretty over there. And pretty nice weather. Not, yes. not quite as warm as what they're having in the Mediterranean, but pretty mild as we head out towards Wednesday and Thursday, and then colder. We'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good night.